Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are going to open up some hobby packs from Top Series 2 Baseball. You can see I picked these up if you've been watching my videos at the most recent card show. And uh, I grabbed three of them. They were $6 a piece hobby packs. Uh, the odds on the back, I haven't really even had a chance to check them out. Obviously, if you have been following along, a lot of people were uh, very excited, including myself, to see that they have included the short print rookie cards uh, similar to the Vladdy no-numbered card and the Ronald Acuna Jr. from a couple years ago, uh, this time with Julio Rodriguez and Bobby Wood Jr. and Spencer Torkelson. So we'll be checking out these packs to see if we can find anything great. If you want to pause, there's the odds. If not, I'm going to go ahead and open them up. I don't even know what the odds are myself, but I think Series 2 has a shorter print run than Series 1, so maybe the odds will be a little bit greater for us to potentially hit something cool. So right off the bat, man, we got a guy who is... One of the leaders for the National League Cy Young right now, Sandy Alcantara, has been absolutely insanely good for the Marlins. If you haven't been able to check out his stat line, go ahead and look at his last few starts. It's absolutely crazy. There's Trent Grisham and Lance Lynn. Haven't seen him yet pitch this year. Hopefully he'll be back before too long. Dalton Varsho could be the all-star for the Arizona Diamondbacks this year. He's had a good season. Dominic Smith, on the other hand, has not. He's been sent down. Nick Fortes for the Marlins. We got Alex Cobb. And, ooh, we got ourselves a gold card here numbered excuse me <clears throat> out of 2022 this is a nico horner i got a lot of cub fans who watch my channel and there it is oh it's even in those city connect jerseys the wrigleyville version that top right hand corner showing a little white oh that's a little bit unfortunate but that's kind of the way it goes sometimes with these insert cards they kind of just get stuck in there and the next thing you know they got a little dinged up corner danny duffy who is no longer with the royals they traded him to the Dodgers, and he's still on his trying to work his way back from an injury. Tasker Hernandez, Sandy Leone, and then we have an upside down future star of Tristan McKenzie. So, best card in pack number one is definitely the Nico Horner. We'll put the rest of them up there. Let's try pack number two. Let's see if maybe we can find one of the other rookies. Uh, the top rookies, I guess, who are just in the base set would be O'Neill Cruz, who hasn't even made his major league debut this year. He came up last year. Um, Josh Lowe, or Lau, I forget how to pronounce it. And then um, Juan Yepes for the Cardinals has been off to a pretty good start this year. There's Kevin Biggio in those red jerseys. Kenley Jansen for the Dodgers. He's no longer with them. Patrick Corbin, Elvis Andrews, A.J. Alexi, who came over, I think he came over in a trade from, with somebody. I don't know exactly. Uh, yeah, he was drafted by the Dodgers, so I don't know what part of the trade. Maybe the U. Uh, Darvish trade. William Contreras, the brother of uh, Wilson Contreras. He's had some decent moments this year. Glaber Torres has done better than I thought, kind of in a part-time role. Jack Lopez. Looks like we maybe have an insert card here. Uh, insert card after our rookie card there is Willie Adamas, Generation Now. Adamas had a really, really good um, end of the season last year with Milwaukee whenever they picked him up from Tampa Bay. Chris Owings for the Rockies. We have Jack Flaherty, who has yet to come back from an injury. Uh, excuse me, Akil Badu, and then Jose Trevino, who's now with the Yankees after being traded in the offseason. So we are two packs in. We've had one insert or one parallel card in the first two packs. Maybe we can get lucky in this final one. Here we go. Final pack or last pack magic. I don't see anything too crazy. Well, maybe we do kind of have a thicker card in there towards the back. I could be wrong. It looks like something's a little bit different. Seth Beer for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I got his autograph through the mail way back in the day. Oh, there's the other Nico Horner. So we got two Nico Horners, the base version and the gold version. Chad Cool. I believe he's now with Colorado and doing all right. Mark, oh my goodness, Kolazarski. Kolazarski. I don't know anything about this young man for the Cincinnati Reds. Sorry for butchering his name, but that is just the way it goes sometimes. Kyle Farmers played pretty well here lately for the Reds. Joe Adele, Future Stars. Good to see him back in the major leagues. David Peralta, Luis Arais. He's insane right now. Holy cow, he's one of the leaders in um, batting average, and he's starting to actually hit for a little bit more power. We got Kevin Smith, and then we have a card, though. It's a home run challenge card. Uh, Kevin Smith, we'll save this home run challenge card for last, since that may be our only cool card we have here in the remaining ones. We got a rookie of Yanni Hernandez, Guillermo Heredia for the Braves and the throwback jerseys, Gary Sanchez, who's now with the Twins, and then Mike Bauman, or Bauman, pitcher for the Orioles. So our final card here is going to be a home run challenge card, it looks like. And oh, there it is. Pick the game, call your shot to win. And this time it is Matt Olson, one of the newer members of the Atlanta Braves, obviously came over in the 
offseason, uh, signing with him after Freddie Freeman decided to go to the Dodgers. So there you have it, guys. That gives you kind of a look at Series 2. I uh, did not hit any of the short print rookies, but that was probably always going to be in the cards. It was nice to see that we got at least one kind of insert or parallel in each of the packs. Hopefully that would continue for you guys if you choose to purchase some of this as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will catch you in the next one. We'll see you.